everyone, my name is Jim, and this is Connect with Jim, the show where you ask questions about preteen ministry, and I answer them. Let's do this. <clears throat> what are the best resources for my preteen ministry? Great question. Let's start super theoretical, and then let's get super practical. What's the best resource for your preteen ministry? That's easy. It's you. Yes. You! You don't need a big budget, or a swanky youth room, or a calendar filled with epic or hype or swag events, or whatever the latest synonym for cool is. The only thing you need to have the best possible preteen ministry is your preteens and you. Someone who is committed to them, who will take the time to get to know them, who will love them no matter what. Someone who will have fun and be silly and go deep and remind them that they belong and that it's okay when life is hard because you will be right there with them every step and stumble every question and quirk along the way you see you you are the best resource for your preteen ministry this means that you need to utilize this resource the best you can do whatever it takes to recharge your batteries do whatever it takes to make sure that they're not perpetually draining you are not a human doing you are a human being so don't forget to be because you are the best resource for your preteen ministry. And you being you is exactly what your preteens and your church needs. Whew. Okay, that was a bit theoretical with a few scoops of practical mixed in. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. You've got a budget. How should you spend it? Ice cream, Legos, shared experiences, anything that can create space for a conversation to emerge. Anything that allows you to lean into a relationship and build a foundation for their faith formation now and in the future. Buy some books on adolescent development. Search for Piaget and Gilligan and Fowler and Winnicott. Don't just read the latest ministry how-to books, but read the books that those authors are reading. Don't rely on some other expert because you are the expert for your context. Invest in some intentionally designed curriculum and church resources. Sparkhouse has a few. Connect is my go-to for preteens to help them connect the disparate stories of the Bible into one cohesive narrative. This is a story that didn't just happen, but it's a story that keeps happening today. It's a movement that they are invited to find themselves in right now now. Reform is designed for junior hires, but it offers some really amazing theological insights and conversations that your older preteens can probably wrap their minds around. And Holy Moly is designed for younger kids, but I know that the preteens at my church, they still love watching it. In fact, a couple weeks ago, we didn't show our preteens a Holy Moly video, and I almost had a what happened to Holy Moly mutiny on a Sunday morning. And aside from all things Sparkhouse, there are websites and communities and events designed just for preteen ministry. There's preteenministry.net, a website filled with curriculum and ideas for your preteen ministry. And there's Superstart, the largest touring preteen ministry event in North America. And there's 456, a ministry dedicated to helping your preteen ministry take the next step. Go to 456.org and you'll find blog posts and a podcast and curriculum and more ideas than you'll know what to do with for your preteen ministry. So there you have it. A bit of theory and a whole lot of practicality. Because there are countless resources for your preteen ministry. But don't forget that it is you. Yes, you you are the most important one. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and go spend some time with the preteens from your church. And don't forget to send us your questions about preteen ministry. Leave them in a comment below or use the hashtag connectwithjim and post them on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever social network the kids are into these days. And then check back here soon for another episode of Connect With Jim. See you later.